What's going on guys? I am Simple Simon and today we're doing another toy unboxing. This figure I've had for probably, whew, I reckon over a month now and I've been waiting for the perfect time to unbox it. And right now is definitely the most perfect time. The new Deadpool movie just got released this week. Yesterday it was, uh, at the time of filming this anyway. So I thought there's never been a better time than now to do a Deadpool action figure unboxing. So this is uh, Deadpool from Marvel Legends. Uh, it's got some other special name to it, Legacy Collection it says. And it's a great looking figure, so uh, I'm excited to get this out of the box. Let's do this. Quick shout out to my Sominions. Your support is greatly appreciated. If you're interested in exclusive members only videos, extended episodes of the noob and exclusive emojis, hit the join button to find out more about channel membership. But remember, your membership is not required. The best way to support the channel is by liking and commenting on videos. Perks. The nomination round has begun for this year's Comic Book Community Awards. Vote for your favorite comic book YouTube channels across a number of different categories and show your love and support for the comic book YouTube community. Visit cbcawards.org. All right, first, uh, if you guys are new to the channel and you enjoy toys, collectibles, comic books, and things like that, do check out the playlist in the description below to some of my vlogs and other toy and collectibles content. So we'll take a look at the box, Deadpool, the movie. Let us know in the comments if you've seen the movie already. By the time this video comes out, the movie would have been out for two days. Obviously, there were people that got to see advanced screenings as well. Um, so not a lot going on in the box. Normally, I would imagine there'd be some kind of write up there, but not really. That's fun. All right, so uh, we'll get him out of the box. All right, so we'll look at his accessories first. He's got two blades, or does he call them katana blades? Or are they just blades? Are they just swords? Let me know, but um, nice, they look pretty good. Then you've got just a little, little pocket sword here. I guess a throwing sword maybe. So you got that. Got his little uh, unicorn. Does this have articulation? No, doesn't. And then this is really impressive. So he comes with three sets of extra hands, which I mean, I don't have a huge amount of Marvel Legends figures, but uh, you know, sometimes they come with one extra set maybe, but three extra hands is actually pretty impressive. I got the uh, trigger hands there. If you guys saw my last figure unboxing, which was the crow figure from Mezco, that figure had like, a record setting amount of um of accessories what are these these are kind of just like oh, i guess they'd be his katana hands so yeah i'm yeah, very, very impressed with the accessories now we'll get him out of the box i do love how marvel legends figures actually just pop out of the box unlike mcfarlane figures which are bloody like tied in there for life so this is the figure it looks pretty good like the texture on his suit is very cool Oh, he's actually got, oh, I didn't realize that. He's actually got guns already on him as well. And they obviously, they do come out, it looks like. So that's cool. Oh, that's cool too. Look at that. Wow, I've never had Deadpool figure, obviously. That's pretty cool. I guess we'll look at his articulation up and down. Oh, not really down very much at all. Up, I reckon he's going to have a lot of up. There you go. Decent amount of up, not a lot of down. Head turns all the way around because you know Deadpool has to be able to look like that, right? So, oh, what's this? Oh, that's his, is that just stuck on? I wonder if that actually comes out. I don't want to break it. I'm going to leave that alone. Arms go T-pose. Can you go any higher? Nope. So he doesn't have um, butterfly joints or anything, but I mean, that's pretty impressive. If you want to do like a little, you know, ballerina kind of thing. And he pivots at the bicep, bends 90 degrees at the elbow. Let's do a dab, do a dab. Oh, I can't really do a dab. Interesting. And then his wrists, is that up, down? Yeah, up, down, and obviously it pivots as well. Now this is interesting. So he's got, um, I can't remember what this is called, uh, this join here. Um, let me know, It's has it got T in the word? I'm still kind of a noob in uh, toys. But uh, not many of my figures have this kind of stomach ab crunch. Uh, the only ones that, that I know of that do are actually, I know Miles Morales does from the Spider-Verse figure set and maybe the Spider-Punk from that figure set does as well. But how's that gonna work with his little... Is that... Oh, there you go. So his ab crunch is obviously good because that is made for ab crunching, but it's a little bit scary. I didn't know if it was gonna break. His little strap there, but uh, he does go back like that. Uh, he's not gonna go, oh man, there's that noise. That noise is scaring me like I'm breaking something. He can't go back too far because obviously he's got his, uh, what are these things called? Sword holders, <laughs> katana holders, legs. Uh, oh, let's get his guns out of there. Maybe he could probably do the splits a little bit more. 
And we'll give you a close look at the guns too. That's what his guns look like. But with them out of the holsters, he might be able to do better splits, yep. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad, not full splits, but again, he's got a lot going on. A lot of detail, a lot of pouches and things like that. Typical 90s superhero. He pivots at the, what do you call that, upper thigh. Uh, double jointed knees there, which are good. And then his feet, let's see if they're locked. No, that's good. Oh, they're good. That's a very, most of my figures, there's normally at least one lock joint on the ankles there. And they obviously um, do the pivoty thing as well. So articulation is not bad. Interesting choice to go for this. What do you call it? Let me know in the comments. What's that kind of joint called? Arms, look, they're not as good as some of my other figures, but they're not bad. I wouldn't say they're terrible. I couldn't really do the dab with him though. Surely I can do a dab. There you go. That's Deadpool dab. Dab pull. All right, so uh, that's the articulation out of the way. Uh, I might do just a couple of height comparisons. All right, so here he is with my Spider-Punk and Spider-Gwen from uh, Spider-Verse. I always like to use Spider-Punk as an example because he is very tall and he is actually just the tiniest bit taller than Deadpool. And obviously Spider-Gwen is kind of a short character, but there you go. There's some Marvel Legends versus Marvel Legends. Here he is with my Multiverse Batman and also my SH figure outs Thanos. All right, so here he is with my Paz Vizsla from Star Wars Black Series and my recent pickup, the Crow from Mezco. All six inch figures. Deadpool is just the tiniest bit shorter than both of them, actually. There you go. You don't want to run into this gang in a dark alley. And then we'll just come in with a measuring tape. He is just above six inches. So I'll do some simple poses and then I'll uh, let you know my honest opinion on this figure. So what did I think of this figure? It's good. There were definitely a couple of things I guess I wasn't super happy with. Obviously the um, left arm joint, just from the forearm, there's just, it's just completely stuck. Again, let me know in the comments. I don't know if I've had, I mean, I definitely have had some, but all my Marvel Legends and Star Wars, I almost feel like every single one of them always has a joint that's locked. It seems almost just like expected now. And the crazy thing is, I guess, a lot of people buy these things and don't take them out of the box and that's fine. But for people who do, just how consistent poor I guess the quality control is is quite interesting but anyway I love the figure I uh, love the detail accessories are fantastic I did discover as well that he did have uh, butterfly joints too because I thought it was a bit odd in the beginning um, that he didn't have butterfly joints but he definitely definitely does but yeah uh, look I can't really flaw the figure in any way it looks great the only other problem I think I had was I really had trouble standing him up he wasn't the easiest figure to stand up probably because he's got his little um, backpack that kind of weighs him down a bit but I was a little bit struggling I, I know this is not the case but they're almost felt like he had one leg shorter than the other. I don't think that's the case. It was probably just the way I had him articulated. But um, yeah, the only issues I had was he wasn't the easiest to stand and the lock joint just really pissed me off. But everything else is great. I'm glad I bought this figure. It's going to look great when I do some posts on Instagram with my new Mutants 98. You know, I haven't posted that book for a while. It's a good excuse to uh, pull out the book and take some photos. So yeah, uh, if you guys, whoa, okay. So yeah, if you guys, Obviously the movie just came out. If you guys are interested in this figure, make sure you get down to the shop soon because it's been out for a while. I believe it's sold out pretty quickly on the initial drop because I did see some people selling crazy aftermarket prices, but I think that's changed since uh, and the prices have gone back down to normal. But after the movie, I'd imagine these things are gonna disappear really quick. So that's all I got for this one. Again, if you guys are newer to the channel and you enjoy toys, collectibles, comics, check out the playlist I have in the description below to my vlogs and my toys and collectibles. Or just check out the channel page, there's all kinds of shit going on there. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, leave a comment, all that good stuff, and until next time, I'm Simple Simon, tell your friends, and keep it simple.